Welcome back to The Average Drinker. I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and it is time for another whiskey review. And today I have one that I was really excited to be able to get, and that is the Jack Daniels Twice Barrel, the special release. This is an American single malt, which I was actually super surprised to see from Jack Daniels because it was definitely something I did not expect to see from them. So this particular bottle comes in at 106.9 proof. I think it's kind of like their special release they do with Koi Hill. This is the Twice Barreled. So let's dive in. This one actually is finished in Oloroso Sherry Cask. So super interesting to me. I really love scotch. I love single malts. I love sherry finish, especially with the cigar. And that's why I'm excited about this bottle. So let's dive in, see how it tastes, see what I think of it, and I'll give you my review. Cheers to you guys. Thanks so much for being here. Wow, had a hair in my face again, like always. But cheers to you. Thank you for being here. Thanks for supporting the channel, for watching, commenting, subscribing, doing what you do. I appreciate you and I'm grateful for you. So let's dive in right away on this one. I noticed that it is extremely dark. You can super tell that this is a sherry cask finished whiskey. Like you can just tell by the color. It is like, holy moly, that is dark. That's really dark. So on the nose on this one, it's wild. This is something I completely did not expect. Like I said, this is something I, I would have never guessed if you put this in front of me that this came from Jack Daniels. Like the only thing in it that gives me any hint that it might be from Jack Daniels is there is clearly a slight banana note in it but it's so mild otherwise you get a light malty note kind of like um malt balls it kind of reminds me of actually chocolate malt balls chocolate malt balls cranberry light banana dark chocolate it's loaded with flavor on the nose it smells fantastic it really does it smells super super good it doesn't smell overly malty either like when i was seeing, seeing that this was a single malt i was like it might be really malty and sometimes that can turn me off on a whiskey i'm not like oh i love maltiness no sometimes that turns me off this one well i guess it turned me on on the nose so yeah just full of flavor doesn't burn the nose hairs at all it just smells really nice let's dive in on the palate Wow, right away, super sweet up front. Super sweet like cranberries, blueberries, almonds, dark chocolate, even a light hint of like fruit punch, which I'm assuming is that sherry influence that's within there. Really sweet up front, not overly sweet, like not too sweet, but it's very sweet up front. Then it kind of rolls into a really nice like Almost like you kind of dusted lightly, like a, um, what is that, like nut trail mix with a little bit of cinnamon. And it's just kind of warm on the back end, really nice. It reminds me a lot of those trail mix packs that are like cranberries, blueberries, dark chocolate chips, um, almonds, banana chips, like, you know, the dried banana chips, dehydrated fruit. It reminds me a lot of that. That's what this tastes like to me. So if that's up your alley, this one would be good for you. Let me take another sip. Mm. Mm. It's super rich in flavor. I even get, yeah, definitely like a salted peanut even on the back end. Sweetness, banana, um, a little bit malty, but not overly malty. Not like I expected at all. Definitely taste the sherry coming through on the very back end. The flavor sits there in your mouth. It's very nice overall. Not super malty, just very balanced. And I really, really enjoy this one. Definitely surprised by it. I wasn't sure what I was gonna think. Now, I don't think this is gonna be something everybody likes. I think this is gonna be something that is, it really divides a lot of people. Like you're either gonna like it or you're not gonna like it. If you don't like malt, single malts, if you don't like, like things that taste malty at all, you're not gonna like this. This might not be for you, but if you like sweet, fruity, nutty, like just really unique things, then this one will be for you. For me, I enjoy this one. I can't wait to try it with a cigar. Super excited to do that. But overall, I really enjoy it. And that's why I'm gonna give this one 3.75 corks out of five. It's really good. The nose is phenomenal. The palette is good. The finish is good. It's just something I really like. So 3.75 out of five. And that is my review on the Jack Daniels Twice Barreled. 
I'm curious to see what you guys think. If you've tried this one, let me know in the comments. As always, I appreciate your support. Thank you so much for being here. I'll be back with so many other whiskey reviews and other content that you are gonna wanna see. Thanks so much, I'm Dara, I'm your average drinker, and I'll see you next time.